Hello, my name is Eleanor and I'm going to talk a little bit about how to have some fun at home with rubbings and rubbings are just basically taking the texture of an object and um, using a crayon to record it on a sheet of paper. So I'm for this little project I'm just using um, these are water soluble crayons. You can use any type of crayon. You just want to peel the paper back so you can rub it flat on your paper. Um, I've got some sheets of computer paper. Um, my sheets have been printed on before so this is a fun way to use up some scrap paper that you might have. Just um, thin paper is better. Okay, and I've just got some things around my house that have a fun texture. I'm rubbing my hands across them and they feel like they might make uh, an interesting recording on my paper. I've also taken a couple of leaves from my walk this morning uh, and then a pair of scissors and a glue stick or any type of tape or something at the end. Um, so the way that this is going to work and I'll put my textures to the side that I've already recorded is you take your sheet of paper and you want to take one of your objects that you've found that has an interesting texture according to your fingers uh, and you want to hold your paper down on top of it. Use one hand to hold it down, and uh, or you could tape it if you need to. It's okay if it moves around a little bit, but you wanna try to keep it in one place. And then you're gonna take your flat crayon and rub it. That's why it's called a rubbing. You're rubbing your paper uh, with your crayon and it's recording the texture that's underneath. Isn't that fun? Um, so this is something that has four sides that maybe you could get some other textures from it, but I'm going to put that aside and try something else. Here, my colander has a little bit of water in it. Let's see what this shape might look like. Different sound. So I'm holding my paper still and I'm rubbing my crayon in different directions is going to give me different lines. I like that uh, across my paper. Got that. I'm going to put that aside. Um, Art Produce has a nice project that involves rubbing the bottom of your shoe if it's clean. <laughs> um, if it's not, be careful. Uh, and hopefully they can post that for us after this. But here's the bottom of my hiking boots have a really great texture. So I'm holding that in place with one hand. I'm going to overlap these shapes a little bit, making a nice green color. And then I'm going to, um, wires would be nice little lines, but I'm going to just jump right into my leaves here. And a leaf, you can hold it under your paper, find that shape. And maybe you want to move your paper around, leave your leaf in the same place, and you can make multiples of that same leaf. So this is a great thing you can do with pretty much anything you find that has a little bit of an edge, has a little bit of a texture, um, feels like it might produce a fun shape underneath your paper. And something that you can do once you get a lot of textures recorded is to start cutting out the either what I've done is just cutting out the outlines of uh, the shapes that I've rubbed or um, after that you can cut out whatever shape you think is interesting and then use your scissors and your glue to collage something on a new sheet of paper. So making a design out of your textures. Say I want, maybe I really want a circle. And once you've got a really nice uh, dictionary of textures, you can start designing some sort of composition. This kind of looks like a person to me wearing a leaf earring and go from there. Make yourself a really interesting 
design or composition, maybe this could um, turn into a really big a really big collage just using the shapes that you have uh, around your house. Have fun, enjoy.